Yeah. Got on a shirt, it's a red shirt. Meet, meet Dick. He's a Hawkeyes fan. Then on the back it says, "Don't be a dick." <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. I'm a Tennessee fan, so this year's been a disappointment. I can't tell if we're live yet or not. Your connection is weak. Oh, uh, it's like you're erected. One viewer. You here all, all the time? Um, I work here part time. I work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Those are probably the best nights, I would think. All right, we got we got it going. It's a weak connection, but it's going. Yeah, you're live. Six viewers. My shoulder is live. The best chicken wings. <laughs> Hey, Heather. They're huge. Oh, my God. These are amazing chicken wings. The like, Lighthouse Lounge. They're like my, you know. They're like, like, my... Gr like triple grilled. I don't know. You know what You know what they did. Did she share the secret recipe with you? No. All I know is that uh, apparently... Nathan, stop packing up and come over here and have some wings. Shut your whore mouth. Apparently the barbecue is even better than okay, the buffalo. Nathan's only comeback ever is shut your whore mouth. I do that on Joey Vickens' Facebook post. I know. I say that all the time. You know why? It's because he's a suck out. <laughs> yeah. What a show we had tonight. We had um, a guy in the crowd whose name was Joe Dog, who felt like he had a kinship with me and could not shut the fuck up. Now, I like to do a lot of audience interaction, so it really didn't bother me at all. And I actually found it kind of cute and adorable how much he was apologizing. Joe Dog. <laughs> Did you really think it? Did you really think that? Did it come across that I was upset with him? Not at all. I, I was. I hope not because I wasn't. I was having a lot of fun. You just drank a shit ton of beer. He absolutely drank a shit ton of beer. But that's a good thing, right? Absolutely. That's the first time I've ever seen Nathan actually sweep up the mess that he's made. He told me the doctor said he had to do it every day. Well, that fucking guy always leaves a mess of cards for the bartenders to clean up. <laughs> for me. For Derek's ex-wife. Well, everybody was friendly today, so just gonna come in here and watch. Well, let's set the odds on it. So it was one. Oh, you're still alive? Yes, yeah, this is a uh, post show munchies with Jer Dog and Derek. Nathan's over there uh, cleaning up the mess. Mm -hmm. I'm newly single. If, if you think I'm cute, message Jer Dog. Don't worry about packing up, guys. I fucking got it. All right. Uh, don't worry about coming over here and getting promotion done. I we fucking got it. Promotion is you, can, you can pack up when the bar closes, dude. Promotion is eating chicken wings? There's six people watching this shit right now, man. That's exposure. Oh, well, that changes everything. Hi. Hi. I need attention. It's what I, it's what I do. It's what I need. Who's he, watching? He's bitching about packing everything up, but he's the only one of us that has a t-shirt that says crew on the back of it. <laughs> But I had to buy that for myself, didn't I? And that was about rowing in college. That wasn't you know, I, I don't know. Uh, he spelled it C R U E. You know why? Because for me, he's from the Pomeranian region of Poland. I am Pomeranian. Yeah, I think that's a lot of horse shit. I think that's part of that myth that he likes to build around himself. Ask my relatives. <laughs> he's a member. Go to Romania and ask my relatives. He's no. a member of the great Suck Owl family. Ask my we, we got told about how uh, the family is from the Pomerania We don't know. Is, is Nathan's wife in the crowd? By the border of uh, Poland, I think? 
blues man. I don't think Pomerania is a real fucking place. Seven, yeah. Just Google it. Julie Bowers, Roadie. If you Google Pomeranian, you're going to see a whole you're bunch of people. You're absolutely right. Dogs. That's why I love going on the road with the magician. He can do tricks. He's a good roadie. And if we get pulled over by there the cops, he can make my weed disappear. There she is. You are a needy bitch, though. Attention, whore Nate. <laughs> Uh, I told Sarah earlier that she should be Nathan's writer. Daryl, I'm not a blues man, dude. I'm fucking blind. I like, happen on tour. The comments coming up. I'm Let blind because of my devotion to Jared. Dog. Let me get a bite. Here you go, Andy Walling. This is for you. I'm not even gonna do sauce. Though. I'm just going. Daryl wants to be the opener. Are you going to be near I center town in, tomorrow? Can, I want in. Can I be the opener? Yeah. No, center town tomorrow. Center town is no, Saturday. No. Springfield, Missouri, tomorrow night. It's a. It's actually a private corporate gig. Oh, this fucker's hot. Yeah, I told you. Saturday night, Jefferson City. At the West Ridge Event Center. Tabitha. Be there, be square, or not, whatever, motherfuckers. I was until we started. Don't give a shit. The West Ridge Event Center sounds like a big place. How are those wings? Amazing. You're going to have one? No. You know, eating chicken off a bone freaks me out. Is that weird? So my bet was you could be. Well, you know what? It's not weird. If you're a woman. What would you pick? I don't know. Something hard. Um, <laughs> you guys are six, oh, six people. Are stuck to my okay, leg, so I don't know what to, so six people are like totally yeah, hardcore but, motherfuckers. <laughs> they're like, I love them. <laughs> they're the best fans in the universe. I think they're all from Michigan, too. I thought they were Michigan. Five people and Sarah are I'm like a major fans. <laughs> well, five people. Oh, Sarah <laughs> Exactly. Four. Is Sarah my wife? Oh. Five. She's yeah, but more come on. I think it's a rotating. I think we're out, we have an average of six, <laughs> but it rotates. It's like it's not the original six. Uh -huh. Daryl, we're in Iowa right now. Why are you not here? Man, with these kind of numbers, we should be figuring out how to monetize these videos. Grease, bubble everywhere. I got shit is he being fucking sarcastic again? Who, is he, yes. Is or he Darryl. being the sarcastic magician again? His name is Suck Al, and he's well, being fucking sarcastic. Suck Al. So I was talking earlier before the show started, and I wanted to say this on the, that live broadcast, but I got so caught up in the shots and the pre-show party that... One of my favorite things is going on the road and hitting like a small town neighborhood bar, like a nightclub lounge. I almost feel like Rodney Dangerfield might have performed here in the 60s. You know what I mean? Like it's real cool. The hell it's a, yeah. It's a real I agree cool with that. vibe. You can do a lot of different material and you get a lot of uh, new material just from the audience interaction. Yeah. And I've performed here like a couple other times. Dog. So for me, it's always a blast to get on stage and then introduce here are my new friends my new and friends, give people really? something. You've known me like I just say friends when I'm on stage. <laughs> they're, they're show business friends. It's all an act. <laughs> off stage, these are some needy motherfuckers. Oh my god. No, I'm not. This guy passed out on a beach in California. I did like hover over him for two hours. So and I didn't not, drown. It started raining. He saved me from drowning. Not in the ocean, but it was raining and I was like that. Face down in the sand. Breathing rain. Like, dude. I see something I forgot to put away today. Dude, it's pouring rain. How am I needy? What the fuck? How did I get lumped in with Magic Boy? Well, you look good in a feather boa. Oh my god, I just. Lovely. That's a mess. Yeah. Are you regretting the bones now? Not, not at all. Never regret the bone. Not at all, man. Not at all. Alright y'all. Hey. Thank you for coming out. Yeah, say say hi to say everybody. Say hi to live viewers. See all the people Yo! in there? See all the people in there? Look, there's all there are all kinds of little tiny people in there. 
like making little round, like they they have round yellow faces. Yep. See all those little people? See those ones look Darryl like Daryl is there, Andy is there, Heather is there. It's like the Truman Show, but way. Who else? Sarah's there. Right. No, I am sound out. eating chicken wings. I am very Live. tired because they're good. They're fucking they're amazing. Good. He's like, they're broadcasting eating live chicken wings. Yeah, the uh, most amazing no, chicken wings in the history of fucking no, chicken wings. They're not yeah. alive. Look, dude. You're not eating uh, live chicken wings. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. This is your most commented on Can live video one? yet. Yeah, of course. You guys are part of the championship team now. Do it. Eat that one. Can I have a bite? Yes, we know. You tell everybody how awesome it is. There. Are you just completely sucking that straight off the bone? That's how we do it around here. Wow. She's that's, not even chewing it. That doesn't sound sexual at all. Completely off. That sounded bad off camera. Jacktown. Is it Jacktown? Jackson, Michigan. <laughs> bar. It's probably it's probably a little even a little bit smaller than this one. Um, if they, I think they sold 50 tickets. It was packed out, which is of course a lot of fun for me because I'm right down in there in the mix, right in the middle, people between an ATM machine. Oh, and another a, shot uh, for Jared Dog. Sorry to interrupt. And they served Cheers. pizza like right in the middle of the show, no intermission. They just started serving pizza. Delivery pizza right in the middle of the show. So that's how you know when you're performing next to a bar or a, a, when you're performing in a, in a bar. bar located next to a medical marijuana clinic is when they <laughs> start serving uh, pizza, delivery pizza, in the middle of your fucking show. And that's for real. Unless you're at the light. Andy Walling, back me up on that. Hey, cheers, guys. Thank you. Shelby, what do you got? Oh, you already did yours? Yeah, you're too slow. All right, whatever. I'm behind. <laughs> You just call victory over Jeremy. Dick. We love Michigan. Yes, okay. that's ab absolutely. We love Michigan. The but, blue. Yeah, there she goes. I knew uh, that would happen. I, I was prompting her to going back to Michigan in March. I'll be at. The Uptown Bar in Crystal, Michigan. Uptown. I will be at McKenna's Pub Uptown. and Grub in Lakeview, Michigan. I'm doing all the top venues. Uh, what else are we doing? Battle Creek. We're going to go to probably Traverse City some, coming up soon. Gladwin. Um, and I got another gig in Colorado. Greeley, Colorado at the West Lake Pub. <laughs> Yay. I only so target busy. places where I can get them. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Chris Carter. Wh where is everybody else from? We know Chris where Carter is from. No, you guys are wrong. Chris Rock will be there, and I heard it. Uh, Where's Chris Rock? Chris Carter is a he's she a just buddy. Just put a boob on my arm. Andy well, likes it. Boob? Chris Carter is an old school friend of mine. We did, uh, we're brothers. We did, a, not brothers, but like, like, old You're school, tight. like, yes, we're tight. Uh, he's a, uh, this Wild West show, Gunfighter. Oh, you know that thing I do yeah. where I go play a cowboy and a pirate? Yeah. He's one of them dudes. Well, rock on, dude. We Shout had, out to you. I fucking love organized. your work. Chris Carter once drank your, a shot of your, like a hundred bucks. We had this That's small awesome. apartment in North Carolina, in Charlotte, North Carolina. We did parties on Monday nights, completely pissed off the neighbors on a regular basis, to the point where one time the cops got called on us. But every fucking night, they were... Monday night, it was Margarita Monday, and we'd invite almost everybody that we knew that we worked with to come to the party. And uh, we always tried to do like a gimmick. So even then, we were promoting weird, wacky shit to generate... A crowd, right? Yeah, yeah. So on this particular night, there was a dare that Chris would do a shot of piss. He would drink piss Ooh. for the cover charge that came in and the and the amount of people, uh, the amount of money that people donated. And the way we did it was we mixed, we all peed in it. Chris is pill. not denying this shit. He's, no, like, he's laughing. <laughs> he's totally laughing. Generate a crowd, right? 
So on this particular night, there was a dare. That's kind of cool. That <laughs> so <laughs> the place is. The wall. And we all took one of the, like a red solo cup, just like that over the bar into the bathroom. Uh, the other three roommates all peed oh, in the cup no because way. We, there was a debate a... like whose piss should he drink? Yeah, but that's it not was... a shot, dude. That's like 16 ounces. Not enough cup in order just to be able to mix it up. So that way we poured the, the mixture into a shot glass to make it fair because otherwise if you were like, oh, well, I'll drink Jared Dogs but not Mike Lee's piss, you know that what? would kind of be a little bit gay. I was thinking when you start telling this story, but the four fuckers that pissed in the solo cup, you guys are the gross ones. You know what? Chris, Chris would he did what he had to do, but you guys are sort of disgusting. One hundred percent. I'm not denying that whatsoever. But I was so pleased, and that video is on YouTube. Just, oh my just look God. up piss drinker, or something like that. Dude. When I, was, when I was in college, the, uh, the, the two or three weeks that I spent in college, I went to I should a, have said allegedly. <laughs> I went to a, uh, a frat, but they didn't call it frats, but that's exactly what it was. And we were at a party, and uh, the, the kegs ran out, and I'm sitting in the living room wasted, you know, at the age of 18, and there's this full glass of beer uh, sitting on the coffee table in front of me. And I took a drink of it, and as it turns out, that wasn't beer. Oh, what? Thank you. Somebody pissed in a cup, filled it up, oh, and set it on the table. Oh, <laughs> no way. Was this a magician's college? Is that where that was at? No, it wasn't magician's college. or college. It was Graceland University in Lamoni, Iowa. That's where Bruce Jenner went. Right. Is that a real it, place? Is that Elvis's university? Is that what that is? No, no, same name, different, 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 different joint. Bruce Bruce Jenner went there when he was an Olympic athlete and a man. Well, I would have had more respect for it if it was the King's University. Elvis Aaron Presley rules, motherfucker. <laughs> And uh, this is a heavily religious school, as it turns out. It's a Mormon school, right? Which is why we didn't get along very well at all. They kept, it, I got this scholarship, this huge fucking scholarship to a private college. And as part of that, I had to uh, uh, meet with the people who gave me the scholarship, the business, whatever. Every week. And every week they would say shit like... Um, and I'll tell you what. You know, Nathan, you're never going to make it in this life unless you uh, start attending uh, services or church with us or whatever, which I didn't think was very cool. I mean, I didn't... They were they were very secretive of the religious aspect of their college when I went there for the interviews and things. Anyway, we didn't get along uh, on that level, but... They were all bragging about uh, Bruce Jenner went here, Bruce Jenner went here, Bruce Jenner... Went here. Bruce Jenner I'd like to get in touch with them and see like what their thoughts are now. If they're still like bragging about the fact that Caitlyn Jenner oh, I went to their Mormon college. I, I bet, I bet they have uh, edited that history. Oh wow, Google Play services have stopped. I don't know what that means. But we're still live though, right? Yeah. What happened? Nathan is not a Mormon. That's all I know. I'm not very Mormon. Although I get along with uh, I get along with Mormons when they visit like the front door. You know what? I'm Episcopalian, which is exactly the same thing as being Catholic, except for the kid fucking. So, so it's Catholic like <laughs> It sort of is. You know what? Every year for Lent, we give up the Pope. The last wing. Yeah. The last munchie of the night. I'm going home. That's about the most disgusting thing. I've ever seen. <laughs> Wow. Oh, hey now. Oh, no. Sorry. Who did that? The chicken wing basket is also our tri model because, you know, we believe in production value. <laughs> Actually, we apparently do because we play side on chicken wings. Flying home from Vegas. Were you out there helping with Mad One and all them? Good to see you, buddy. He might be off, Chris, already. Okay, okay, y'all made it. Heather and I got up the shop board. Join us. Nathan walked the room with his Mormon story. What kind of shots are you guys doing? Stop leaving us, LOL. 
But what's yeah, funny about these comments that come up on Facebook Live is you don't know if they're directed to the person that's doing this Facebook Live or if they're directed towards other people who have commented <laughs> that might not even give a rat's ass less about what's going on here. Well, the stop leaving us is directed towards you because they don't want to be left with Nathan going <laughs> Another fucking story about him. Mormon University. I don't blame him. He said it's Grace. He got. He went to a place called Graceland University. They gave me a full ride scholarship. Man. Yeah, but he claims it has nothing to do with Elvis Presley. No, I, I think well, probably doesn't. I think Elvis is it's a in state. Iowa, Lamoni, Iowa. It's got. It, trust me, it has nothing to do with Elvis. Presley. I don't give a shit. Anything named Graceland should have everything to do with Elvis Aaron Presley. Like just by default. Yep. I think he deserved that. And you know what? Who the fuck are the Mormons to claim the Graceland? Yeah, you're duh. You're right. I should fireball. See, he knows that I hate fireball. Heather knows that I love Jaeger. Yes, you do, Jaeger. That whole Mormon thing was. I took Karen to that bar with me. She had a lot of fun. And the um, Rick, who owns the Shamrock Pub in Jackson, introduced. He goes first. He goes, Jared Dog's going to come up in a second, but first I want to announce to everybody that Mrs. Jared Dog is in the house. Aww. That's very sweet. And she does not like attention when, no. I, when she's in the audience. So I kind of had to make her part wait, of the whole show. On. I thought but I then they, they served her up like a double shot of vodka, which completely cock-blocked me that night. She passed out wait, after wait. the double shot of vodka. So She'd been I'm drinking draft Mrs. Blue Moons. The fuck? <laughs> Nathan is never hungry. The only is thing he consumes on the road is blue moon. Nathan drinks his meals. Alright, that's it. The end of the chicken wings. The most amazing chicken wings life? in the history of chicken wings. These people are. No, I'm gonna finish this thing with a shot. Uh, Jocelyn. Hey, Jocelyn, <laughs> sweetie. Yeah. We're gonna come yeah. around here because I want to introduce you to our. We're live on Facebook. Right here. Come on up here, Jocelyn. The owner, manager, operator, establishment of the Lighthouse Lounge and the creator of the most amazing chicken wings ever, Jocelyn. What's hey, your last name? Hello. Yes. Barry. Barry. Jocelyn Barry. Yeah. Barry? We had a lot of fun oh. tonight. Good. We had fun, too. It was great. They napkin. were great. Food was good. We had a great time. I need to, uh, I'm going to do a shot and then we're going to wrap this thing up. Right. Can I do a Jaeger bomb? Sure. I have some friends in Michigan that want to do one with me. Alright. Rick is a badass. Well, let me, what the get, fuck are this? Uh, let me fix that for you. Alright, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> or get Shelby to do it. She's, she's on the box so still. Sweet. I think she's off. Shelby's rolling. Shelby's out. I'm still looking through these wings for like little bits <laughs> of meat to pick off, but it's disgusting. The Blues Brother. Thank you, Daryl. Don't wipe it on my shirt. The, uh, the idea of the grassroots comedy tour was inspired by the Blues Brothers, where they roll into Bob's Country Bunker just randomly in a bar out of nowhere and start doing their thing. There's chicken wire over the stage. And way back in the day, like 1999, there was a friend of mine and I. We started out together. We were just open micers, and we were like, what do we need to do to get more gigs? And we had one of those, like, Yager thank Mom. you very much. Mm -hmm. What do I owe you? It's all right. I'll get that. A free Yeager Bomb. So yeah, so you go. Uh, we had a microphone and like an old school, you know, PV guitar amp. Yeah. And so we just rolled into this bar randomly, completely unannounced. That's and we're awesome. Like, yeah, we're booked here to do comedy. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, and what? you were not you fucking are? booked. Not whatsoever. But just like had the you know, twenty years old, twenty two, whatever it was, twenty two years old, had just the balls enough to roll into the bar. And there were people there that were like, uh, what? Well, and they're okay. like, okay. And we went over to the corner where normally they would have like karaoke or whatever, right. and uh, we set up the PV guitar amp and plugged the mic into it and just started doing comedy, and tr you know, true to form. 22 years later, half the crowd loved it, half the crowd fucking hated it. But that's kind that's of was still the awesome. Of the whole that's idea. Awesome. And they're like, you know what? Maybe what we should do is call ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should actually get booked. <laughs> and get booked. <laughs> yeah. And uh, 22 years later, Here we we're are. at the Lighthouse Lounge in Council Bluffs. Cheers so. to my friends in Jackson, Michigan. Cheers to Chris Carter. Cheers to Jocelyn Barry. Cheers to everybody. Thank you so much. Appreciate this you. This has been out. 
After Show Munchies with Jared Dog, Derek, and Nathan, the Dirty Jokes and Magic Trick Show. Peace, motherfuckers. Nib High Football Rules! <laughs> How do you turn that off? <laughs> it's appropriate that you drop it at the end. <laughs> Stop. Where's the button? Where'd it go? <laughs> There's no stop button.